Hey there, welcome to this new video. If you want to check it out how to create a Google business profile totally for free, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you what we can do and totally for free. But I must tell you that first of all, you need to create a Google account just in case you don't have that. You can go into the Gmail, into the Google Plus, and then you can create your Gmail. And just by having a Google account, you're going to be access. You're going to be having access to Gmail, to Google Docs, to Google Sheets, to Google Sites, to almost everything, absolutely anything that has to be managed by Google. So first things first, guys. I'm into business profile, and basically, what's going to happen here? I don't know if you have seen like maybe you've gathered or trying to look for in a specific business or like a location of a business and once the location of a business is available into Google Maps it's gonna appear in something like this right so the name of the profile business the ratings where it's located the overview the update I mean this uh, page this app it's quite popular to almost everyone that has searched stuff into Google that's the reason why I want to manage our Google business in here and we can do this totally for free so I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description guys so you can be really sure you are in the right place but just in case you can always go into the google section and go into the google business profile as you're going to be redirected in here so what i want to do is to click into the manage now what's going to happen here is they're going to be sending me into the sign in section after i'm already signed in what i'm going to do is to go back into business.google.com and i can create a new business uh search section so here it is business name so let's say for example that my business name is called like this and what's going to happen here is going to be asking you to choose a business type it could be an online retail a local store or a service business to your business makes message to customers customers can purchase product through your website in my case I want to look for a service business and go into next and here's gonna be asking you to enter a business category so let's say for example that you are into the film production company I'm gonna click this category go into next and once this has been set so far where do you serve your customers in this area search in this area so let's say for example I want to look for Mexico City right something like that and after I hit into next I'm going to go into the next part where I can show my contact details so if I want to do something like that let's say for example I want to choose this option now it's really important guys that you have a website in order to continue here but just in case you don't have a website there's also something totally for free a free tool from google which in my case i want to use that because let's say that you have a website let's say I just want to delete this i want to create my own and i want to go into google sites since i already have my google account already opened it's going to be sending me into my templates as you can see it has just a few demo uh, portfolios a few demo accounts in my case i just let's say i just want to delete those because i don't need those anymore i'm going to remove those i'm going to remove this once again and after i completely done with that i'm going to go into a start a new site and i'm going to choose the template gallery so as you can see there are so much templates that you can use totally for free which this is like really really awesome so let's say for example here that you want to make a website of your brand of your company or your business so in my case i want to choose a photo portfolio because i kind of like the highlighted images uh, or maybe you're just using like a restaurant you're a salon you are a student you're a club so depending on the niches you are using you're going to choose your stuff right but here we have a small business i want to choose a small portfolio so with that being said it's going to be sending me into the editor of the sites.google.com and here is my photo portfolio as you can see this template this way this dashboard it looks just like powerpoint and it's really easy to use that if you've um, used google slides it's going to be just really really like almost like the same thing here so in my case i want to choose photo portfolio and i want to change that for my company name and in here let's say that i want to delete this group or i want to choose to insert let's say for example a video so i'm going to scroll down and choose youtube and in here what i'm going to do here is to look for a youtube video and once i choose this video i'm going to delete the previous portrait and i'm going to put it right in here like let's say for example that i'm just making a portfolio right so that's the reason why 
I want to delete this item and I can choose another YouTube video if I want to if I want to select and use all of my stuff right so let's say for example that I want to see this anymore I want to just delete those and if I want to add something else I can choose let's say for example that I want to use like a formed I'm gonna choose Google Forms and here's going to be popping up these forms is to choose one of the forms that I've already created here. If I don't have anything, I can just tap Google Forms outside. I can create like my first form. Let's say, for example, contact information, which is really important for my brand. And once I have all of this, I can go into, let's say, send or or just try to change this in my case after i make this contact information it's going to be appearing in here so i can just drag and drop so let's say that i want to put that information in here and i want to add some text box on here let's say that i want to please leave us All right so i can just bolt this i'm going to align this and make this a little bit more and I want to change the text because I don't like, I kind of don't like uh, that a lot. So I'm going to be choosing this, All right? So after I'm done with that, I can, let's say that I can add some more stuff and I can have yours my account. Let's say, for example, it's really important to have a Google map uh, here. So I can just choose, let's say, for example, this location and add that in here, something like this. So this is how it's going to be looking, right? So I just need to copy this website that we just created. And I want to go into my business section and put in here my website. And here we can go into next. And what's going to happen here is let's put your business on the map. So I can get alerts if you want to. If not, you can just continue. I'm going to hit into continue. And in here it says, please enter your mailing address to verify. So in here, you want to put in here an address to provide that the public section, I mean, it's just eligible for peering here into uh, Google. So I just need to verify my account in order to continue. Uh, I'm going to do this real quick. And lastly, let's say that your business hours, let's say that this, um, it's opened like at 11 a.m. and closes at, I don't know, maybe 10 p.m., something like that. So basically what we're just doing here is to customize a profile in order to add a business description. And then we can add some photos of our business. So here are some examples that you can use. In my case, I'm going to hit into add photos. I can select photos from my computer. So basically, what we wanted to be focused on is in the website of the Google business account. So as you can see, I've choose the site.google.com because it's one, it's from Google and number two, it's little bit free. So let's say that I want to add a calendar. If I want to make some reserves, stuff like that, I can add some social links if I want to. And in here, I can put here, let's say, for example, some images about Instagram. I can choose, for example, I don't know, maybe I'm going to try to look for Instagram logo. I'm going to choose this option, go into insert. And here I'm going to choose my Instagram account, go into insert. And it's going to be now popping up in here. So there you have it, guys. Actually, it's just a matter of completing your business profile manager section. And after you're successfully done with that, I mean, you have already your website, you're good to go. Just don't forget, guys, to check it out here, your Google sites after you finish those. And to figure it out if everything is OK, if everything looks good, you can go into the preview section so you can see how it's going to be looking on a tablet, on a phone or on a large screen, which in my case, it's a computer. But so far, I mean, it's looking pretty, pretty good. So I think I'm okay with that. And so there you have it, guys. Now you know how to create your website totally for free for, for your Google business account. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully this was a very useful uh, video for you. Great information. Thank you so much for watching this video once again. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this kind of website, kind of Google uh, applications. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys, and well, I will see you next time.